Zorro, our male zebra shark, um, we've been catching him to remove him and send him over to our sister sea life centre in Great Yarmouth, uh, where hopefully he can uh, get together with the female over there and, and, and produce some babies. Well, hopefully, once we get them together and they've settled in and they get to know each other a bit, um, it'll be relatively easy. They're both uh, large specimens, they're both mature adults, um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it will all work out. It can be quite stressful. We, we, we plan very carefully uh, to make sure that they're, they're moved as safely and stress-free as possible. Um, but there's always an element of, uh, of stress in there. It's in a specially designed transport truck um, in a tank where they'll be monitoring the water quality and making sure he's okay for the journey. He'll have about a three, four hour journey to Great Yarmouth. Uh, from there, the, the team will, will take over, take him out, um, get him used to their water and their display and then uh, just keep an eye on him, really. It's very unusual in the UK. Um, we're hoping certainly that this will be the first time within the Tea Life group that we've got them to breed. Um, and, and it's very important, you know, for shark conservation and, and just sort of pushing, pushing things forward in terms of breeding, really. I, I'm really hopeful. Um, he's been showing a bit of interest in some of the other female species in here. Um, so when he gets together with another zebra shark, um, I'm, I'm really, really uh, positive that something good will come out of it.